Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I want to talk about this lens right here, the Olympus M Zuiko 30mm f3.5 macro. Let's do this. In this short review video, I want to talk about the differences between this Olympus 30mm f3.5 macro lens versus another Olympus macro lens, the 60mm f2.8. I also want to share my experience shooting with this lens in both dedicated macro and non-macro environment. I will also have plenty of sample images to share. Before we dive into deep, here are some important disclaimers. I am an Olympus visionary and ambassador to the Olympus brand. Olympus did not ask me to do this video, I do this genuinely because I want to share my experience using this lens with all of you. Also, my review is subjective, it is based on user experience, this is a non-technical review. Let's jump right into the frequently asked question. Which macro lens to get from Olympus? The 16mm f2.8 or the 30mm f3.5? Well, both are great macro lenses from Olympus. They can go really close to the subject and they deliver incredibly sharp results. However, there are some key important differences. If you are an inside macro photographer, you deal with live creatures, all these little bugs and spiders, then the 60mm macro lens is more suited for you. It gives you a lot more working distance, twice the amount of working distance in comparison to the 30mm macro. It, this simply means that if you shoot with the 30mm macro dealing with little insects, you have to go much closer. You have higher chance of spooking and scaring the insects away. Also, the 60mm macro is weather sealed and the 30mm macro is not. Therefore, if you shoot in harsh conditions, say that you're shooting in a rainforest in Malaysia where it rains all the time, the 60mm macro lens is protected against splash and dust. The 30mm macro lens, however, has higher magnification ratio, meaning that you can get closer to the subject and magnify the subject a little bit more. It gives you 2.5 times magnification equivalent in comparison to the 60mm lens, which gives you just about two times magnification. Also, bear in mind, both lenses are very different lenses. The 60mm lens is a medium telephoto lens, whereas the 30mm lens is more suited for day-to-day -day normal shooting. The Olympus 30mm f3.5 macro lens has a compact and light build. The body is made of plastic, but it does have a metal mount. I like the clean, minimalist look of the lens. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It does feel really solid. There's no creaky parts. And it is extremely light. It feels like it's nothing at all at about 128 grams. The size is about slightly larger than the 25 f1.8 prime lens, and that's really small. Olympus packs in some really good ingredient in their recipe of making their 30mm macro lens. The lens features seven elements in six groups, including one dual super spherical lens, one extra low dispersion spherical lens, and one spherical lens. And this lens can go really, really close to about nine and a half centimeters focusing distance, giving you about 2.5 times maximum subject magnification. In terms of optical quality, the Olympus 30 macro lens is an excellent performer. The images I got with this lens came out super sharp with incredible amount of fine details, 
very good contrast and realistic colors. I really like how this lens renders my macro images. In comparison to the 60mm lens, I do still think that the 60mm f2.8 macro from Olympus is slightly sharper, but to be entirely honest, if I were to compare images side by side, one with the 60mm and the other with the 30mm lens from Olympus, it may be a bit difficult for me to tell apart which was taken with which lens. Both give incredibly sharp results, and this 30mm is no slouch. When it comes to technical lens flow control, being a macro lens, the Olympus 30mm f3.5 manages them very well. I didn't see any barrel distortion, there was no chromatic aberration, no traces of purple fringing, the flare was very well resisted, I don't see any corner softness. Generally, there was not much issue shooting with the Olympus 30mm macro lens. One area that the Olympus 30mm macro performs better than the 60mm macro is autofocus. In both close-up shooting distance as well as normal shooting range, I find that the Olympus 30mm macro focuses more confidently and consistently faster than the 60mm macro. This honestly doesn't come as a surprise because the 60mm focal length is a medium telephoto lens, it has a more complex optical design in comparison to the shorter, more normal focal length of the 30mm macro lens. Because of the compact and light build of the Olympus 30mm macro lens, the handling while shooting with this lens on any Olympus camera bodies was quite pleasant. I can use this lens on the smaller Olympus bodies such as the Penlite or the OIN the EM10 series and the lens will still balance with the camera really well. If you haven't seen my inside macro shooting techniques, I was hand holding the camera and the macro lens with one hand while my other hand was holding the external flash fired wirelessly off camera. I have shared about this technique step by step how I got my macro shots before in another video. I'll put up the link up here. Please check out the video if you haven't done so. It was not easy hand holding the camera and the macro lens with one hand, shooting at such close up distance for macro photography. This was the ultimate test for handling. And the smaller and lighter the lens is, such as the 30mm f3.5 macro, the better it is for my shooting technique. Besides macro photography, being a 30mm lens, it is a very versatile focal length for everyday photography. You can use the lens to shoot people, to, shoot, to do some street photography, to do some casual food photography, to do product photography, a little bit of tight landscape. It is the lens that is suitable for almost everything. So the 30mm is not just a macro lens, but I do personally think that it can be a lens that can add a lot of value to your photography as well. If there is one thing I wish Olympus can improve in the 30mm f3.5 lens would be to have a brighter aperture opening, say f2.8 or f2.5. This will make the lens a lot more versatile for day-to-day -day photography use and even in low light shooting conditions. I understand why they wouldn't want to bring it down to f1.8, that would definitely clash and be redundant against the 25 f1.8 prime lens which by itself is an amazing lens. But having f3.5 is a little bit restrictive, anything wider, even f2.8 will make a world of difference. 
that's all I have to share about the Olympus 30mm f3.5 macro. I really did enjoy shooting with the lens and I got some fantastic images. If you own the Olympus 30mm f3.5 macro, please share your experience in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found this video review useful, please buy me a cup of coffee or contribute to my PayPal. I'll put the links in the description below. A little bit of contribution can go a long way. All I can promise in return is to continue making quality videos like this and publish it here to share with you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you again in the next video. Until then, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.